China has long been the answer to the world's rubbish problems. Since the 1980s, it's been the biggest importer of foreign scrap. But the dumping ground the world has come to rely on has ended after the Chinese government introduced an international waste ban. How has it changed the way we manage global trash? For decades, the rubbish we generated wasn't our problem. The vast majority of it, from the likes of the US, UK, EU and Japan, was sent to China for recycling. The trade boosted China's economy and provided materials for its manufacturing industry. But it also created health and environmental problems, particularly in areas dealing in hazardous electronic waste. Banning 24 of the most harmful types of trash helped mitigate that problem, so China was free to deal with its own rubbish. But has the ban actually been good for the environment on a global scale? China's enormous capacity to process recycled materials helped limit the amount of waste in international landfills. And by using recycled materials, it reduced the demand for raw resources. China's trash ban was welcomed by environmentalists. Not only would it make China cleaner, it would also force countries to re-evaluate the way they dispose of their rubbish. But the sudden cutoff has left some struggling to find alternatives. We have a lot of surplus that's building up in, in our warehouses, at waste handling facilities, and we're, you know, frantically trying to find new markets to, um, to handle these materials. A recent study estimates over 110 million metric tons of plastic could pile up by 2030. Countries in Southeast Asia are beginning to pick up the shortfall, but they lack the facilities to cope with demand. The region is one of the most polluted in the world and already struggles with its own handling of waste. Does the solution lie closer to home? Shipping rubbish abroad adds to greenhouse gas emissions. A national rather than global approach may also motivate countries to clean up their act. For years, almost half of the world's waste was sent to China. It was an arrangement the world came to rely on. But now that that's ended, what are the alternatives? Is there enough time to find a solution to this mounting problem?